To take full advantage of Samsung's smart TV, you'll need to be connected to the internet. If your TV is brand new, first make sure you follow the step-by-step -step guide to setting up your TV and connect into your home network. 2012 smart TVs can be set up via a wired connection to your home network. Most recent models have built-in wireless too. Once set up, you can now access the Smart Hub, the gateway to all your content. At the top, you can see the recommended Samsung apps, Samsung Signature Services, Your Video, Family, Fitness and Kids Story all appear in the middle of the screen. At the bottom of the screen are the apps you've downloaded yourself, including the web browser. Here's the Samsung App Store. This allows you to download the latest, specially designed applications to run on your smart TV. To download an app, highlight the one you want and press enter. The application will now download, and once downloaded, a pop-up message will let you know that it's ready to use, so you can start using the app straight away. Some apps, like Skype, need your account to be linked. Once you've added your Skype account details, you can make a voice or video call direct from your TV. Hi Jasmine. With a Samsung Smart Account, you can personalise the Smart Hub with all your social network sites to keep up to date with your friends and family. Video streaming can be done through various apps like Netflix. You can just search for the film or TV programme you want and watch it on demand on a large screen. You can also browse your Smart Hub via gesture control or Samsung's dedicated wireless keyboard. You can also use a Galaxy device with a remote control app. More apps are being created all the time to keep up to date on the App Store. <laughs>